so this is a video that you guys had highly requested for me and I'm excited to bring it to you. I have my hair um, just newly washed, uh, very fresh, and I have just been letting it air dry while I do my makeup. But I'm gonna go into every single product that I use. Now keep in mind, I might not use every single one of these products every time. I am going to do that for you today. But these are products that I absolutely love that I've been using for a really long time and they're products that just seem to work for me. So uh, as many of you may know, I went through a huge shed with my hair when I um, was my body was under stress from losing weight so quickly. So I had to try and recover from that somehow. So a lot of these are thickening products, they're volumizing products, they're hair products, maybe shampoos that stimulate growth, that kind of thing. So that's what you're gonna see. Don't feel like you have to go out and buy all this stuff because again, this is what I do for a living. This is kind of my job is to test out products. And you guys have been asking very recently about my hair so much. So I'm gonna show you what I do. So the first thing I do is I cleanse and I use uh, this shampoo just because it gives me so much body and I will switch off with finding other bodifying shampoos So I go to Ulta when they're having their leader sale and I go ahead and I use the extra volumizing shampoo from big sexy hair It says it says it has botanical extracts vitamin b3 and lemongrass. It says extra volumizing shampoo So this is what I use to cleanse with the first time and the reason that you see that this is purple right here Is I'll just take a purple toning shampoo so I'll buy another liter, which I don't have with me, of some purple toning shampoo. And I'll dump it into this when it gets down a little bit. And then I'll just keep mixing it because I like to have the purple toning to begin with as well. So that's my first step. Then after I rinse that out of my hair, I will go in with this one is the Pure Body Naturals Restore and Strengthen Hair Loss Prevention Therapy Shampoo for Men and Women formulated with no parabens, no SLS, no harmful chemicals, and sulfate-free. I don't know what SLS is. I'll try and find that out and stick it up on the screen for you guys. So I think that my friend Sherry from Graceful Beauty is the one that originally showed this. And, and I went ahead and I bought it off of that. I recently had just been getting really into these DHT blocking shampoos where they block the, the hormone that hits the follicle and makes the hair fall out. And they really are very helpful. And this one I will put on my hair and I will massage my scalp so much because you know you guys you need that blood to be coming to the hair follicle and the best way to do that is with a really really good massage so I will go through my hair I will spend about one to two minutes really massaging my hair well and then I will leave this on for up to five minutes and then after I rinse that out I will go in my on my ends with just about any conditioner. I just find, try to find one that doesn't have parabens in it. And I don't use anything particular. I just use whatever conditioner. Right now, I just got done using the one that comes in the kit for the L'Oreal Preference when I dye my hair. That's the other thing I should have told you guys. My hair is fine, it's limp, it's straight, and it is color treated. So all of those things um, kind of play into what I use for products. So I will use a conditioner just on my ends and then I go ahead and I rinse that out. And then right after that, I will towel dry my hair just a little bit. I use just like a wash rag in the shower and I will just kind of you know, wring out as much water as I can. And then I go in with Pravana, the Perfect Blonde Purple Toning Mask. I love this stuff, you guys. It's super, super purple. And it takes out any brassiness whatsoever out of my hair. And I have recently been getting a lot of questions about, have you been um, getting your hair color differently? Well, no, it's just that I've been taking all of the yellow and all of the brassiness out with the purple toning mask. And I leave that on for five minutes and then I rinse it out. Okay, then I'm out of the shower and I have my hair wet and I just let it dry while I'm doing all of my makeup and just let it just air dry and then I will grab my it's a 10 this is the it's a 10 miracle leave-in plus uh, keratin I like the one with keratin in it this is almost gone I'm like down to my very end so I actually when it sprays because it does spray when it's full when it sprays I will spray some into my hand and then I just put it through my hands and then I just go through and I completely coat my hair every inch of it and I just try to get it up underneath there and I try to put as much of that all through my hair as I can. And then I get my big wide tooth comb and I just comb through my hair to uh, make sure there's no tangles in it. And there, at this point there isn't because of that product. It's 
a detangler and it's so good, but it's really great thermal protectant. And that on days that I'm going to curl my hair with a curling iron, that's really super important to me. So now I'm gonna go in with a thickening treatment. This is my amazing full and thick shape building spray, texture, volume, and control. I don't think this gives like too much control really to it. I'll put two sprays across my hand. I don't think this gives too much control, but I do really love the volumizing and the thickening part of it. And again, I just run that through my hair and I try to go up underneath and just really get as much as I can through my hair because I love the way that this builds body. And then if I feel like it on some days, I may switch out to this one. And this is the Laange Thicket Cream. Um, I might use both on some days if I feel like it. Some days I might use one or the other. And I just use a teeny tiny amount. I mean, I'm talking like less than a dime size amount, more like a pea size amount. And then I'm just gonna run it through my hands and do that again. And I do like to use both of them, but I don't necessarily do all the time. Um, it just kind of depends on what I'm going going for. If I want a lot of body, I'm going to use both. If I want a little bit of body, I'm going to use either or, but they're both really good products. And then this right here that you see, I bet you were wondering why I have the Brazilian Crush Body Fragrance Mist. It's because I love this in my hair. When I spray this on my body, I just find that it goes away really quickly. But if I spray it on my hair or if I spray this on my clothes, it lasts forever. And you're also not getting that fragrance right on your skin either. So I really love that. And then you see that I have this product right here, which is the Kenra Platinum Series. This is the Blow Dry Spray Advanced Thermal Protectant. I love this stuff, you guys. This is so good for giving you shine and it helps with that thermal protectant too. So two sprays across my hand. Again, I don't put things straight into my hair because I find that you spray it too much on one spot. So this is just an easier way to be able to get it all the way through your hair instead of having to have it be, you know, just like one squirt here, one squirt there, and you've got it on your sides or something. So this gives fantastic shine to my hair and I absolutely love it. And I will work that clear down through my ends because I want that thermal protectant on my ends. And then this product that you see right here is a new product that I'm testing. This is from Christoph Robin, and this is their instant volumizing spray or mist with rose water. And I really like this. I've just been using it almost like a, like a root booster. I like it, it gives a lot of volume to my roots, and I just kind of work that through give it a few sprays and then I will put my fingers through and just try to work it through all of the roots. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to dry my hair upside down. And I completely dry my hair all the way upside down. I don't do part of it and then flip it over at all. So what I'm gonna do while I'm doing that is I'm gonna take this hair right here that is in the front and I pull all of it forward while I'm drying. And I'm going to continue to fluff my hair like this at the roots and work at the roots while I'm blow drying totally. And I'm not gonna be able to show that to you very well, but I'm gonna try a little bit. So we're gonna just flip the hair over and that's what we're gonna do. So flipped my hair back over and you can see that it has a lot of volume right now and a lot of volume at those roots. And just so you guys know, I use a Chi Touch 2 dryer. I've had it for a couple of years. It has the display right here. I always keep my heat on the, the lowest heat I can possibly get so it's just like warm air. It's not ever, ever hot air coming out of here. Lots of times I will just dry my hair with just air. I don't really even like to have any heat in it whatsoever. And the other thing, this has an ionic sensor or an, an ionic setting on it. And I put the ions all the way up because ions are actually what draws moisture to your hair. So I put those all the way up. So I make sure that my hair gets completely dry though. Absolutely 100% dry. I don't want this hair to be damp at all when I'm curling it because that can be really when you're stressing your hair out. If it's a little bit damp, it's still gonna be pliable. It's still gonna have a little bit of pull to it and you don't want that at all. So the next thing that I do is while 
before I actually started that is I turned on my Hot Tools curling iron. And this again is their, from their professional line. I don't think they sell a purple one anymore, but I'll link the equivalent to it down below. This again is a titanium ceramic ion curling iron that is really easy on the hair, as easy as heat can be. I actually use this all the way up on its heat settings. It goes up to, I think it goes up to 430 degrees. Um, I use that hype heat because my hair is stubborn and it doesn't like to cool or curl. And the other reason is because I don't leave it in my hair for very long. So I have that heating right here. And by the way, that's an inch and a quarter barrel um, and it's longer, it's a longer one. It, hopefully you guys can see that. What so. I have is just a regular claw clip and I'm going to take my hair and I'm just going to go around it right there and I'm gonna leave some of the bottom of it out right here. And I'm going to pile it on the top of my head and clip it up. I'm just using a regular old brush from, this is like for a million years ago from Goody and there's a ton of hair in there, that's gross. And I'm gonna take this hair on this side and I'm just going to actually curl this straight up. This is just what works for me, you guys. You don't have to do it like this. You know, a lot of people like to do it backwards. I just like to curl it straight up because then my hair will fall forward. Can you see how that did that? Just made it just, Bend the ends just a tiny bit and it's gonna fall forward. And then I'm gonna do it on this side and that's all I'm doing is just pulling it down, bending it for up towards the ceiling. And that's really all I do with this part of my hair because I can get that to fall towards my neck at that point. So hopefully that makes sense that I'm doing that. See how that one's gonna kind of decide to fall backwards? I don't mind whatever my hair does. I'm not trying for perfection. Taking my rat tail comb again and I'm gonna go about another third of my hair all the way around and I'm gonna release that down. And then the top part of my hair there is gonna go back into that clip. And then all this hair has come down now. But I'm gonna take my hair and I'm gonna brush it and I'm gonna pull it forward like this. And if you're wondering how my hair is cut, I have it basically just straight cut across and then I have a few really long layers. I don't have, you know, short layers. I do have a few around my face a little bit. So I'm gonna pull that forward and I'm just gonna go to the tip of my hair and I'm just holding it horizontally and I just leave it in there for a couple seconds and let it go. And then you can see how it's curled around there. And then I'm not gonna disturb that. That's basically all I do. My hair is so thin that I can do this in about five sections. You're hearing a handle clink as I go across there. Um, I can do it in about five sections and I just go to the end and I curl it and I let it go because I don't want too much curl in there. I don't want the heat to be in there a long time. I just want it to bend those ends and then you just continue all the way around. Make sure you pull it forward all the way around, if you lose some hair like that, that's normal. Just leave it in there for a second. I don't leave it in there for very long at all. The other thing that really helps it is that you have so many heat protectants in your hair. I did not put a product in here yet, and I will show you that product in just a minute. And again, I'm just bending these ends, letting it go, and then moving on to the next one. And when I get to the hair that's in the back, I will divide that into two. I'll take those two pieces of hair, one from the one side and one from the other, and I'm just gonna curl them towards the back. And again, I'm just kinda, just barely bending those ends and letting it go. And again, on this side, hopefully I'm in frame this whole time and you guys are seeing most of this that's going on. And I kind of pick up hairs from the back, see if I've gotten enough of a bend in there. And if I haven't, I'll just put those in again and let those go. Okay, when I let this part go, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take my bang area and I'm gonna leave those separate because I find that if I do, they just turn out a lot better. So I let all the rest of my hair down now this product I actually forgot to show you. I use this on days when it's humid, when I need my curl to last a really long time. This is the Kenra Thermal Styling Spray Firm Hold. So this is number 19. And I will just spray this on the very ends of my hair as I am going around and I am curling because it's such a good thermal protectant for the heat. So on this side right here, I'm pulling it all the way forward as far as I can. Gonna grab my curling iron. And again, I'm holding that curling iron up and down not horizontal, but up and down. 
and I'm just bending those backwards, letting go fairly quickly. And I lost one little piece right here, so I'm gonna do the same thing, pulling it forward, and I'm just bending that end. You're gonna kind of start to see my little layers now as we go along this part. And again, I'm just going to take this part. I don't care how much I take in. If I take a lot, I take a lot. If I take a little bit, I take a little bit. I'm not too worried about that. I find that my hair does fine because I'm only doing the actual ends of it. And so we're gonna just bend those ends again, come all the way, pull the, for the hair forward. It gives me more volume that way. And then I'm just going to let it fall. And as it falls, you can see that it just creates kind of a ringlet type thing. And then I'm just gonna keep going backwards until all the hair is curled that was on the top there. And pulling it forward. And again, just pull it forward and let it fall. Pull it forward, bend the ends, let it fall. So this isn't beachy waves. The beachy waves is when you put your curling iron towards the base of your hair and then you kind of spiral it out. I'm just wanting to get the ends curled so it's just kind of a softer style than beachy waves. Pulling it forward and just the ends. And nothing has to be perfect here. That Again, that's not what we're looking for when we style like this. We're actually looking for it to be just a little bit messy but at the same time, so you know you did something with your hair, I guess. So letting that drop. Okay, and my hair, again, it's not very thick, so I can go through that pretty fast. And this part right here that's on the front, I am going to give it a little bit of a spray with that styling spray, or the, yeah, the thermal styling spray from Kenra, and that's going to help it stick a lot better. And you can tell my bangs are really long. Some of these in the very front are a little bit shorter which is okay. I'm actually going to take those out and I'm gonna decide where I want my part. Some days I part it on one side, some days I part it on the other, but my favorite side to part it on is I part it on the left side and let it fall to the right. So I'm just gonna pull the sections down and gonna just brush that out a little bit. And then I'm going to take this hair that's up here and like I said, I'm going to part it and I'm gonna take this that's parted on this side and I'm pulling it all the way over. Now this is what's different. This is what gives me a little bit of body. I'm gonna take that hair that's down there by my scalp and I'm going to clamp the curling iron in there ever so slightly. And I just pulled that out. And what I wanted to do was just give that a tiny, tiny bit of lift. And I rolled it in and then I let it go really quickly. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And this is where I do a few less sections. You know, before I was doing these big, huge sections. So now I'm doing a few more sections, I should have said. So I'm pulling that hair all the way over and I'm going to clamp it on there. And then I'm going to take it clear down to the end. And again, just bend the end and I am rolling it all the way through, leaving it for one second and then letting it fall out. And then, Gonna pick all this hair up again, so you can kind of see where we're going with this. And so at this point you could do, if you wanted to do it all the way to one side, you can. I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit more hair out because I have these cowlicks that come clear back here or you know, receding hairline on the side. So I need to have a little bit of hair that hides that right there. So I'm gonna pull it all the way over again and I'm gonna just clamp down on the base and then I'm gonna go out to the end and I'm just gonna spiral it in really quickly. So you can see how it did a little bit of a lift right there. I like that, because that's gonna give a little bit more volume. I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna fix this one, just so it has a little bit more curl look to it around my face. I apologize if there's any weird sounds going on. I normally am so still when I'm filming, because I know my microphone and all these other things can create all kinds of background noise, and I apologize. So again, pulling it over, letting it through, curling it all the way up, and then I've got that curl right there. Okay, so now I've got all my curls done and I need to let this sit for a second while everything gets cooled down. Okay, I never, ever, ever at this point brush through my hair. I have never been one that has ever done that. So I always use my fingers and I will just go in and it will kind of just, you know, 
shake out the curls more than anything. I used to call it zhuzhing. I don't know if that's a good word for it or not, but I'm shaking out those curls just to separate them a little bit and to be able to give my hair a little bit more body as I'm going along. So you can see how the curls are super duper soft and you can see how it's kind of created this look of it just being a lot of volume without there being too much curl in it. It's just really soft. And the only way to keep this throughout the day that I have found is a really good hairspray. Now I either use Kenra Volume 25 or I use the Botifying Bamboo Fiber Full from OGX and this is their big hairspray. I love this stuff and I will just go around it just kind of depends on how the hair is if I need to I can go in and I can back comb through here but the curls that we did did pretty good so I'm just going to go in and I'm going to spray and then I can take my hands in and separate those curls a little bit and kind of just keep working with it until I get the style that I really want so you can take your fingers and just mess with it you can stick that hairspray up underneath it's going to give more volume that way it really just kind of depends on what you want to do. I love this hairstyle. It's really simple. It's really easy once you get to the point of curling. I know that I went through a lot. I know that I showed you so many products, but I have been asked over and over again how I do my hair and really this is it. May not use all of those products, but I definitely will use all of them at some point. So that is my arsenal of products just so you guys know. Those are the tools that I use. I'm an 80s girl. I came from 80s where big hair don't care and I also came from the age of using a curling iron instead of a straight iron. So I love my one and a quarter inch. It does really good for that. If I bump up to the one and a half, which I do have, it seems like that one and a half doesn't give me the curls that last all day, but this one sure does. So I love it. I hope that you guys did enjoy seeing this from beginning to end tutorial. I obviously didn't get in the shower and show you how I washed my hair, but I hope I explained it good enough for you guys to be able to see see what I do. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I hope that this did completely encompass everything that you guys are wondering about my hair and how I do my hair and how I get this look. So hope everybody is doing really well and the sun is shining where you're at. I appreciate you spending this time with me. I hope everybody is happy and healthy. Sending you lots of love and I will catch you all in my next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.